Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Robert the Ghost Guerrero, in my opinion, an underrated fighter, versus Keith Thurman in a blockbuster on March the 7th. Right? I'm going to go with Keith Thurman in this fight. I think he's catching Robert Guerrero at the right time. Now let me say this. Guerrero's 31. We all age differently. There's an adage in boxing that fighters can get old overnight in the ring. Right? Let's mix sports. In baseball, because everything is quantified, you can actually tell when a guy in his 30s is starting to have his game drop off. Right? You see a guy, he's a 330 hitter at 27 years old. Then you start to notice that he's now a 320 hitter, a 310 hitter. Right? Let's mix it up even further. There's a saying in the investment world. Bill Gross, the bond king, is one of the people who helped publicize this term. The new normal. Right? The idea that things used to be a certain way. But today, things are a little bit different. Right? And they're going to stay a little bit different. Robert the Ghost Guerrero, figuratively speaking, used to be a 330 hitter. I was really unimpressed with his last fight against Kamage. I was really unimpressed with the number of straight right hands that he got hit with by Floyd Mayweather in an earlier fight. I get the feeling that we have a new normal with the ghost, Robert Guerrero. Right? I think he used to be better when he was a little bit younger. Now in baseball, especially in the pre-steroid era, we understood that a guy in his early 30s might not be who he was just a few years earlier, in his mid to late 20s. Right? As I like to remind people, in boxing, the world used to be a little bit different. Marvin Hagler leaves the sport at 32, as I like to say. Right Today you have an optical illusion with people like Tarver, Hopkins, Klitschko, right? But just understand that a lot of fighters are going to have their lights dim just a little bit in their early 30s. I believe the lights have dimmed a little bit on Robert Guerrero. I don't believe he's the man he used to be. I was watching the Kamage fight. Now understand, this is his last fight. This is the best evidence. This is the most recent evidence that I have to go off of. I'm not cherry picking. I'm just looking at what the guy has done lately. Where is he today? Because understand, Keith Thurman is going to fight today's version of the Ghost. Not yesterday's version. So I'm looking at the Kamage fight. I know the crowd loved the fight. I know the judges had Guerrero winning that fight by a few rounds. I myself had Guerrero winning the fight. But while rough and tumble fights where a fighter gets hit a lot might please the crowd, they're not reassuring if you're betting on the fight. I don't want to see a guy get hit a lot in bouts. I don't want to see shootouts right I prefer to see in the guy I'm supporting more defense an ability to pace himself right a guy not taking a lot of power shots up top right a guy doling out punishment not getting it back now, unfortunately, if you go back further in Robert the Ghost Guerrero's past, 
you're going to notice his 2012 fight against Andre Berto. Now, the one thing we know about Andre Berto is he's an explosive puncher. We know that. Take his fight against Victor Ortiz, right? Berto drops Ortiz. That's a dramatic fight. Berto can punch. Now, knowing that Berto's a puncher, why was it that the ghost got hit with so many shots? Didn't that trouble you? I understand if I'm fighting a lighter hitting opponent, I might say, okay, you know what? I'm going to take some of his shots, right? He's not going to KO me. But if I'm facing an explosive puncher, why am I taking a lot of shots? Right? When guys reach the part of their career where they're trying to prove to you that they can take another man's biggest punches, it's time to get worried. Right? And understand, too, sadly, that's a natural career path for many fighters. Let me mention a great fighter, Ali. Ali goes from, you know, not getting hit, right? Look at me, I'm as pretty as a girl, to rope-a-doping and getting hit hard, proving to people that he could take a punch. Right? I would argue that Prime Ali is the Ali from the mid-60s. Not the rope doper Right? The guy who fights Cleveland Williams. Not the guy who fights George Foreman. Right? Don't get me wrong. Rumble in the Jungle is a classic, but you get where I'm going. Robert the Ghost Guerrero has a new normal. He gets hit in fights, right? He's involved in shootouts. Now, all I'm saying is if you believe in Keith Thurman, that's exactly what you want, right? Doesn't Thurman pride himself on his punching power? Isn't the whole point of his persona the fact that he can hit you one time and it's over? Right? I believe he's going to have opportunities against the ghost. I think the ghost, dare I say it, right? In fact, are we in polite company here? I think his reflexes have dimmed a bit. I think reflexes are one of the most important things in the sport of boxing. How else do you explain how he gets hit repeatedly? with straight right hands from Floyd Mayweather and can't get out of the way at all, right? He's eating those punches flush. How do you explain Kamage? Now keep in mind, front foot heavy fighter, obvious. You know Kamage wasn't going to suddenly get on his back foot and start being elusive. No, that's not his game. He was front foot, he was going to be right up on Guerrero. Where was the right jab? Where was the spacing? Why was it that Kamage was always in his grill throughout that fight? I think Guerrero's reflexes are slow. I think his defense has dropped a notch. I think he's in a new normal part of his career. Right? He used to be a 330 hitter. Now he's a 310 hitter. And unfortunately for him, he's going up against a guy who is in his prime, hits hard, can actually box, can actually do things on his back foot, isn't obvious. Now let's talk about the warning signs for this fight. It's something you need to know about, right? It's something you need to track as you follow this fight and think about betting on it. And it's Keith Thurman's shoulder. Understand, Thurman had a shoulder injury last year. It kept him out of the ring for a while. You're looking at Thurman fights and he seems a little bit different than he used to be. Right? He looks like a guy who's recovering from injury. You need to just monitor that situation. Right? The shoulder injury is a few months old. Hopefully it's healed by now, but... If you hear that he's having problems with the shoulder in camp, right? If this fight has to get postponed, we just saw 
A heavyweight fight, the Joshua fight, in the UK postponed because of a back injury. If you hear that this fight is postponed at all because of Keith Thurman's shoulder injury, then you need to throw everything I'm saying out of the window because that shoulder injury will then be chronic and will then be an issue. But if Thurman is healthy, if you look at the weigh-in and he looks healthy to you and there are no complications from his shoulder problem, if he's healthy, I think he beats Robert the Ghost Guerrero. I think the Ghost's only shot is a puncher's chance in this fight. Right? The bet I'm recommending is, and keep in mind, the odds in this fight should be relatively even. The bet I'm recommending is Keith Thurman to win the fight, hedged with Guerrero by KO. Right? As longtime subscribers know, I don't like over unders too much simply because I want all 12 rounds. Some of the prime rounds where guys are tired and where they get stopped are the later rounds of fights. I don't want to give that away. But I believe Guerrero only has a puncher's chance in this one. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Let me also point out, too, that Guerrero only fought once in 2013. That was against Floyd Mayweather. He only fought once in 2014. Right? Understand, the Berto fight was the last fight he had in 2012. Right? Today, fighters don't fight enough for you to notice their deterioration in real time. Right? In other words, you see him against Berto, you think, oh, he's getting hit a lot. Maybe this is a one-time thing. Right? You see him against Floyd, you see him getting hit a lot, you say, well, it's Floyd Mayweather. Right? I know Mayweather doesn't have a tell on that straight right hand. Maybe we're just seeing excellence against a very good fighter. Right? Then you see him against Kamage. You need to add up the months and realize that this guy might have been in decline. In other words, might have been getting hit more than he's accustomed to. Might have reached that new normal part of his career years ago. Understand, there's a possibility that Guerrero is a couple of years past his prime. I like Thurman here. I'm going to hedge the play with Guerrero by KO. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.